check out the American Century Fantasy Golf Contest at ACCFantasyGolf.com. The Hall of Famer, the Heisman Trophy winner, Tim Brown, is kind enough to join us right now on the Zach Gelb Show. Tim, always appreciate when you jump on board with us. Thanks for doing this, and how you been, my friend? I'm good, Zach. Now, I heard you talk about that money. I just wish I was playing for the big prize. I'm going to be playing for the little prize, little prize Zach. <laughs> How's your golf game, by the way? You, you, oh, you good golfer these days still? Oh, God. It, it's all over the place, man. You know, one day I can putt, the next day I can't, you know. So uh, I'm getting all kinds of help, man. But uh, hopefully you'll be ready. Uh, when I tee it up in a couple, in about three weeks. Yeah, so we'll get back to the golf tournament in just a bit. Uh, let me start you off with your Raiders. Last year, Antonio Pierce uh, did take over, did a nice job. We were wondering if he was going to get the full-time gig. Clearly, he has now. Uh, your thoughts on Antonio Pierce and what he could do this season going into his first full season as the head coach of the Raiders? Well, look, you know, the one thing we do know is that this team is going to, um, they're going to play tough, hard football. And, what that means as far as wins, I don't know. But I think watching them play the last seven, eight games of the year, uh, it was quite intriguing, man, because you saw a football team that was really, you know, getting after it, getting, getting after it, trying their best to win games, man. And and really, that's all you can, that's all you can ask for, man. And I think that uh, we're going to see a lot more of that. And hopefully, you know, the young quarterback or whoever's going to play that position is going to be able to take the next step. Yeah, it feels like the quarterback of the future is not on the roster. I know Aiden O'Connell got some time last year. We'll see if he's a starter this year or if it's going to be Gardner Minshew. Do you have a preference, one or the other, to start week one for the Raiders? Well, I, I think that because Gardner is used to coming off the bench and, you know, that's sort of been his career, that they may give the young kid a little chance first to go out there to see what he can do for a couple of games. And uh, if he can't handle it, then they know what they have in Gardner, and they just, they'll go with him. So that's what I see, but I have no idea what they're going to do for sure. You know, you look at the Raiders, obviously it was positive uh, in the offseason, making Antonio Pierce uh, the head coach, Devontae Adams staying with the team. There was always some rumors about uh, if he was maybe going to force his way out of the organization. Uh, Josh Jacobs, who was a really good Raider for a while, uh, now off to Green Bay. Uh, definitely disappointing, I would have to imagine, to see him depart the silver and black. Yeah, it, it was, no doubt about it, you know. But I, I saw that come in the last couple of games of the year. He didn't play, and the running game didn't suffer, you know. And that's that's never a good situation to be in, you know. If, you, if you're not there, you don't want that guy behind you. If he plays well, it's a problem. And uh, with, with all the contract issues they, they've had with him, it's sad to see him go because he's a great player. But, you know, in today's football, you know, the way they value running backs, you're really not surprised about it. Yeah, and in one breath, right, the running backs, that's always been at the forefront of the conversation, how they're not getting paid enough. Uh, wide receivers, Tim, I, th I think you wish you played nowadays, right? The the price is just booming for these guys. Boy, it's it's unreal, man. You know, it's really unreal. I got a, a cousin, a young cousin who – who is up on all this stuff, man. And he knows everybody's contracts and he wants to keep running them by me. It's like, bro, I don't need to see this stuff. All right. I'm good. <laughs> and, and and usually it'd be like one, 1000 yard wide receiver. Now a bunch yeah. of these teams have two 1000 yard wide receivers. Yeah. Well, you know, the way they're throwing the ball around and, and uh, the new rules on defense and everything, you know, uh, why not throw the ball 40 times a game, you know, because guys can't get hit for the most part. And, you know, and all the rules of sports covering, uh, it's very, very favorable for the receivers. So uh, it's a very, you know, Jerry and I almost did it back in 2000, 2001, or whatever. I think I had 900 some yards and he was over a thousand. But uh, to do it in today's football, if you don't have that, you know, probably means that you have a, a very antiquated offense. And you always wonder, right? Like when you were playing, how would the egos mesh? Because they weren't throwing the ball as much. That's still a concern now, but with how much they're throwing, you know, it's. I don't think it's a big concern to have two big time wide receivers. They're both going to get their touches. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt about it. You know, I mean, especially if you have guys who who play the game differently, like Jerry and I. We played the game totally different, right? You know, I was the guy in the middle bouncing off of linebackers and safeties, and he was out there with his long, pretty towel catching all the easy passes. That's why he's to tell them all the time. So, uh, you know, I, I think if you have guys who are willing to work with each other. And, uh, and play this game at the highest level, man, you can do it forever. Clearly, Josh McDaniels and the Raiders were, were very toxic. Ever since Devontae Adams got there and then Card departed, there's always been this question of will Devontae Adams still want to be a Raider? I know he's all in now. 
Uh, but after this season, he has two years left on the contract. There's uncertainty on the quarterback spot right now. Do you feel like Devontae Adams is here for the next few years, or is there a chance after this season he forces his way out? Boy, I tell you, I, I think things would have to go really, really bad for that to happen. You know, I think uh, being that this is a team he, you know, dreamt or planned for, to have this opportunity and to give it up, for what reason? You know, you, ne you never guarantee that you, you can go to anybody's team and you, you know you don't know what's going to happen. So something really, really bad would have to happen for that to have, for, for, for him to make that decision. And I, I just don't see that happening at this particular point. Now let me get to the defensive side of the ball with uh, your Raiders. Uh, Max Crosby, we all know he's great, but I feel like he still deserves more attention. What do you see in him right? as a football player? Because he's phenomenal. Yeah, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I, I said to him, you know, I think on Twitter or something that, uh, man, this is why you have to be in the playoffs. Because the year you had, you should have been, you know, one or two for player, uh, defensive player of the year. But, you know, they're looking for these guys who are playing extra extra weeks, man. And, you know, it's, it's all a part of it. I know they say they're not, but let, let's be real about it, right? So so I think from that standpoint, man, you know, this guy, I, I hope he can just keep this thing going. Uh, because if he can, man, when it's all done, you know, he'll be sitting next to me up in Ken with that gold jacket for sure. And I'll tell you, inside that division, I think it's fascinating because we know the Chiefs are the Kings, right? Back-to-back -back Super Bowl mm -hmm. championships. But you look at fighting for that two spot, Chargers now bringing mm -hmm. in Harbaugh. You have Herbert. Uh, the Broncos now second year with Sean Payton. They just drafted Bo Nix, uh, 12th overall in the draft. And then you have the Raiders, who we think have their head coach in Antonio Pierce, but still need a quarterback. I think that's going to be a fascinating race this year to see uh, who's going to be able to snag that second spot in the division. Well, no doubt about it. You know, and the Raiders think that they have the answer to to Mahomes. So we'll see about that. You know, they were the last team to beat them uh, before they went on their run to um, uh, to win the Super Bowl. So uh, they're not going to be fighting for second. They're going to be fighting for number one for sure. But um, I hear what you're saying because you can't, when you look at the Chiefs, you got to <laughs> you got to be realistic about about what's uh, what's ahead when you face them. But uh, it's going to be you know look. I always thought the AFC West was the best division in football. You know back in you know going back to '88. So you know I, I don't think really anything has has changed. I think now it's to the point where you you have four good teams that are going to be going after each other. You're in that Heisman fraternity, being a Heisman Trophy winner. To finally see Reggie Bush uh, get his trophy back, what did that mean to you? Uh, it meant a lot, you know. I, I think we always refer to him as a Heisman Trophy winner when we had that opportunity. But I think uh, for him to actually have the trophy back uh, is uh, is a great thing. And, and and I don't know how much the NCAA had to do with that or the Heisman bus or whoever it was, but uh, whoever it was, uh, they did the right thing. We will talk about the ACCFantasyGolf.com where you can find out more information in just a second. Uh, but before we talk about the golf tournament, I have to ask you, uh, Aaron Rodgers, the last two days, he told the Jets uh, a while ago he wasn't showing up for mandatory mini camps. He had some trip planned. You know, people are freaking out, especially with the New York media market. I look at this. I think it's really a non-story. Show up when the season starts. Make sure your offensive line's healthy. Make sure you're healthy, and we'll see what the Jets could do. Uh, how do you react to all the coverage about Rodgers recently? Well, you know, being that he's the quarterback, you know, the one guy who probably needs to be there is the quarterback, you know, because – uh, that's the guy that everybody's going to rally around. And without him, you, you know, you know, the today's NFL is all about the quarterback, right? You know, and I think that, um, for him not to be there in a mandatory, I didn't know it was mandatory. I thought it was just a camp, but for him to miss a mandatory camp, that's, uh, that's a pretty big deal. No doubt about it, but you know, Hey, it's a different era, man. You know what I mean? That would have never happened 20 years ago. So, uh, you know, but these guys, man, they, they have, uh, more latitude than we can ever dream of. We could ever dream of it back in the day. So that would annoy you if you were a teammate of his, that he didn't show up and I guess he's on vacation or, or doing something? Um, unless he was having a surgery or something was sick, somebody, you know, mama, daddy, you know, if there's an issue, then that's different. But uh, a vacation, man, that, that would be for my quarterback. That would be a tough deal. A mandatory camp. Voluntary camps, I get it. I never went to voluntary camps. You know, but, you know. I, I guess when a new coach came, I had to go. But um, other than that, I never went to a voluntary camp. So I only showed up one time during the offseason. Uh, but, you know, you know what that week is. You know, you should be able to plan around that for sure. 
And last thing I'll ask you, just with the Jets, what do you kind of think they're going to do this year uh, if Aaron could stay healthy? Uh, look, if he could stay healthy, man, you know, they have talent. They have talent at the running back position, at the uh, receiver position. So, I mean, is he, if he's healthy, I mean, this is a, a, a threat, you know, for the in the AFC East, no doubt about it. So, uh, you know, anytime you have a guy who can sling the ball, you got a chance to win. Tell me about what you got cooking here coming off of this uh, big golf tournament in July. Yeah, it's going to be great, man. You know, I think this is my 22nd year playing in the tournament. And, uh, you know, if I could ever put three days together, I may be okay. But I only, for some reason, I always have that one day where I go, I, I act like I, I can't play golf. But uh, it's going to be a fun event. And uh, it's an event that we all look forward to for sure. Well, we got the U.S. Open this weekend, the, the third golf major championship of the year. Uh, we had Alex Myers on as a writer for Golf Digest, and he just had a hold in one about 48 hours ago. Have you ever hit a hole in one or come close? No, I have four. I have four, man. Wow. So uh, I just uh, I played Augusta uh, about a month ago, and I had a um, – on the par three course, I had a hole in one there. So I got my little – that's my plaque, man. My my Hall of Fame plaque right there. I mean, hmm. my uh, Augusta plaque. <laughs> so, yeah, so, you know. It's, uh, you know, th those things happen when you play golf, right? <laughs> I don't know. I, I would love to have a hole-in-one, Tim. You have four? Are you, are you serious? You have four hole-in-ones? Yeah, yeah. I had one at TPC Sawgrass a couple of years ago oh. on the on the Highland Hole. Uh, so my name and everything is up there uh, on the plaque. So, yeah. But the, before that, it was 22 years ago before I had one. So, uh, you know, so I, I didn't have another 22 years to wait for sure. So we know you want a Heisman. We know you're a Hall of Famer in football. You have four hole in ones. Is there any sport you just suck at? Uh, maybe uh, maybe tennis, man. I tried tennis <laughs> when I was younger, but I wasn't that good at tennis. So <laughs> make sure you check out Tim Brown, the Hall of Famer, in this great golf tournament, the 35th annual Championship of Celebrity Golf. More information: accfantasygolf.com. Tim, thanks for doing this. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate the time.